Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy C. Today we're going to be doing a ball review on the Pink Widow Urethane. Now, the Pink Widow Urethane is a hammer product. Very nice hammer product, I must add. Um, I know I have a bunch of urethane balls, and I know you guys are wondering why I'm doing it, why I got it. Well, I got it to use first on a sports pattern down at Nationals. So, let's go over a couple of numbers. They use the gas mask core, of course. Um, the RG for this ball is 2.50, the dip is 0.058, which is very, very good. And then the mass bias is 0.016. Now, yes, this ball is asymmetrical, and it is actually one of the better hooking balls for urethane out there. Now, believe me when I tell you, that's what I'm looking for. Now, normally when you go to bowl in a sports pattern, you want something that's aggressive. Um, and tend to go a little longer or shorter depending on how long the, the length is. Now, for me, I'm a little different. I'm looking for a ball that I can throw around five with my feet about 16, 17, throw up five. Uh, I'll throw up five for all the practice. Then I will throw the first four or five frames. The goal for me is to push the ball down to create a little bit of line so that I have a little miss room on the outside. And then I can swing the ball out to about five, which the line I created, because urethane doesn't soak up the oil, but it moves it. Okay? So with that being said, now you understand why I got the the, the pink widow. So let's go ahead. I got a relatively fresh shot because I wanted to experience how this is going to work. Also, I'm doing a ball review afterward, so that's why I needed the fresh pair to make sure I was able to get through it. So let's go ahead, now that we know the numbers, and uh, throw some shots. Here we go. All right, guys, as we went over the Pink Widow urethane, is what we're about to do today. I'm going to start my feet on 17, knowing that it ain't going to be good enough. Oh, couldn't get it off. Ah, but we knew this was coming. All right, so to start with the pink widow urethane, we're going to go 17 and 5. Let's see what this baby can do. Okay. All right, so let's get another one from 17. All right, I'll do this again. Let's come, let's get it to five, not three, not four. All right, so let's go ahead and move a little left to 19. Uh, I think about 20 to 21, it should start really performing, but it could be here at 19. Not bad looking. Like the shape. All right, so back to Mr. 19. Oh, see if we can't repeat that last beautiful shot. <laughs> Way to miss the nine. All right, back to 19. Let's go ahead and uh, these shots together. That's good. All right, so two more shots at 19. Then we'll go left. That inside line is a lovely line. All right, so last one at 19. Then we're going over to 21. That's where it should have been. There it is. All right, so 21 it is. 21. Let's try to go 21 and 7. Let's see if that makes the mark back. Yep. 
All right, back to 21. So we can't repeat that last shot. All right, let's see if we can't repeat the same shot. Let me know if you notice anything different about the release I just used. And use yet again. All right, two more shots in 21. Then let's go have a conversation about what we see with this pink urethane so far. All right, one last shot at 21. And let's go talk about it. See what we're seeing out here, guys. All right, let's go talk about this. Okay, so we had an opportunity to throw several shots. Uh, we started with our feet around 17, like I thought, it would, like I said we would. Um, what I didn't do is I didn't tell you that this ball is also six by five by five and a half. I forgot to tell you guys the layout. So um, the ball did exactly what I thought I was going to do, go a little long. The first couple of shots was good because it happened to slide in the old, and I wanted to wipe it off just to see how it would respond uh, we was able to keep on going left as we did you see the ball has really nice carry it goes a little longer because it slides quite a bit in the oil which is great for me um and it does have a nice kick finish to it is it what i thought it would be absolutely and i think that if i take this down to about 500 grit yeah about 500 then it should be 100% exactly what it is that I'm looking for in the ball for Nationals. So ball number one out the bag at Nationals, right there. All right, so let's get on the lane. Let's throw seven more shots, and uh, let's see how we finish. All right, so since we're back, now we're going to go to 22. Um, still try to get it outside a little bit. Yes, I put on the brace. It don't matter. All right, back to 22. Let's see if I can't use this yo-yo release real quick. All right, so back to 22. Now, I remember, when I decided to get this urethane, I left it at its finish. Uh, like I said, I didn't get this ball to bowl league or anything. I got it for one purpose only. To start nationals. Now, remember, the only reason why I even got that, this ball is to take it down to 500 grit and to use it at nationals right away. All right, let's get a couple more M22, and then let's go ahead and move left. All right, so let's go last one from 22. Remember to watch the shape. Shape it is. Okay, so I was going to go to 24, but I'm not. I'm actually going to go to 20. I'm going to go back right. I don't feel the need to go to 24 because that's not what I needed to do. I needed to be straighter up the line, go a little longer, finish. So the goal right now is to figure out where it's strongest. And that's what we're trying to do. So with the surface at 800 and the surface at 500, there's going to be a little bit of difference. 
but I'm sure we're getting it just to what it's going to look like right now. So let's go two more from 20. So let's go last one from 20. Now we're going to end this off by going 18. I just, I just have to see it. So 18 it is. Okay. Get back out here to 18. A lot of sevens. I slide over to 17. I have left a lot of seven pins today with this ball. I stuck a little bit. Need to get off better, more clean. All right, so we're gonna go last. The last uh, two shots of the day from 16 and then 15. Where it's gonna be strongest. And last one from the good old 15. Where this should be strongest on the sports powder where I need it most. That's a wrap. All right, so we had an opportunity to throw even more shots with the Pink Widow, and I love the ball. I mean, when I want to use the ball to swing it all the way outside and stuff like that on a fresh pattern, the answer would be no. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there so you guys have the ability to see it. Would I, I, I got it for a specific reason. Um, being that I'm not the highest rev now, I am learning the yo-yo release, so I can throw some revs on the ball now. But that's not my go-to. So being that it's not my go-to, I need it to do something distinct and specific. I need it to be able to run at five and roll right to the pocket. That's what I need. And I'm going to be able to get it to do that very thing at Nationals. That's what I got it for. Okay. So with that being said, thank you so much for the review. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, please hit the thumbs up button. And also, that little subscribe button, you know, with the red and white letters. Make sure you hit that too. Now, remember, when using the urethane, it's not about how smooth it is. It's not. It's about what it consistently do that you can make sure that you know it's going to do. And that's why I like to finish with urethane, and that's why I like to start with urethane, because it gives me that consistency that I know it's going to do. Now, with that said again, I'm C. This is Bad Bad Bowling. Thank you so much for being part of the family. Have a great day.